uh, kind of take you around, show you what we're working with on this home here. So we got a little grime underneath the gutter lines. It's pretty typical. We got a little bit of bug stuff going on. See all that there. A little bit of mildew growth starting. This would be the north side. Webbing. We'll get all that off of there for him. Nice deck, which we aren't washing today. Maybe we'll have us out after they see how the house comes out. Nice, easy access all around the home, which is something we love to see. Again, a little more just gunk kind of under the gutter line there. That'll all brighten up nice. White's always fun to clean as it really pops after we're done. Over here on the south side, sunnier side. Not a whole lot of mildew growth or anything. It's a little on the fascia board there. Come around front. And on this entryway. Entryways love to collect dirt, grime. Just the uh, wind whips around, whips in. Of course, it all just collects here. Looks like they must have had a bird build a nest at one point in here. Nice giant yards. I'm jealous. Wish I had a big yard like that. Give me an excuse to get a riding lawnmower. So we're just gonna downstream this with our basic house wash. Uh, soap everything up, low pressure rinse, get everything nice and clean, and we'll get out of here. We'll do a kind of a final walk around video too to kind of show you how it all came out. Catch you guys later. Brody with the guns out, getting that tan going. Probably about 90 degrees right now. Low pressure soaping it up. You can see this little section here that we showed you before is already starting to clean up nicely. Let that dwell for a little bit. Come back with the rinse. Again, we have all of our property protection done, everything taped off. So that way we're keeping your property safe. low pressure rinse working with the siding here <coughs> excuse me Woo. nice and gentle nothing to it again you don't need high pressure when you're washing a house don't let anyone tell you any different if they do they don't know what they're talking about You can see the way the siding's put together here. So we're washing with the grain of the siding. Again, that just prevents water from being forced back behind the siding. Um, but you know, we are using low pressure. So again, there, there's not a huge risk of, of that happening. If someone's using the high pressure, a lot of times they will be forcing water up behind the siding, causing more issues than, uh, than you had when you first started. So he's working this side over here and then he's moving to that buggy corner that I showed you earlier. We'll check that out after he's done. Alright, this side's drying now. We get it soaked her up, rinsed her down. That came out really nice and clean. Siding's looking good.
wood stuff. Cleaned up nice. It's really wet back here, but looking real good. Nice and clean. It's working its way around back. Open everything up. Finish soaping this side up. We'll rinse her down and then hit the last two sides. All right, Brody's finishing washing, uh, I guess rinsing up the front. So we'll go through. Everything came nice and clean. Looking fantastic. All that buggy gunk, everything came very nice and clean. Again, white's fun to wash, it really pops after a good cleaning. A lot of times, you don't realize either how dirty it's gotten over time. All oh, this looks good. See that all cleaned up real nice. Come around here, this south side, still drying. That gutter line. Beautiful. See if he's about done with that entryway. Get a good video of that in there. Still cleaning up here, but you can tell that siding looking so much cleaner. Got a rinse in here yet, even before rinsing. Still looking great. Clean feels refreshing. <laughs>